In this video, we're going to continue topic 8.2, and we're going to be looking at example 8. So we have an object that begins from a place 7 feet above the ground, and begins moving strictly vertically. So right there, that is an initial condition. The velocity of an object is given by this function. So as soon as I see that, remember I write, I am very proud dude. And it says um, they give us an interval measured in feet per second. At what time is the position of the object first at three feet? So that we're, we're given velocity, we're going to position. So that means that we do need to integrate. Um, when we integrate, we have to be aware of the initial condition, which is seven. We know we're going to start at zero. But look at what it's saying. At what time? I have to solve for time. So I don't really know where I am ending because it wants the time when the position is equal to three feet. So I'm going to integrate this and set it equal to three feet. So I'm gonna use the power of my calculator to actually solve for T. And then we're gonna use that to determine whether it's moving up or down. Okay, so I'm gonna do a doc B real quick, doc B. All right, so in my scratch pad, I'm gonna start by typing in the seven, t minus seven cosine t. So it's gonna be an x minus seven cosine of x and hit enter. All right, I'm gonna pick that guy up and move him out of the way. Now, that's not really what I want the picture of. I really want the picture of seven plus the integral of that so I can set it equal to three. So I'm gonna actually go hit tab. In here, I'm actually gonna turn off the blue graph. I'm gonna go arrow back down so my, I get to my F2. I'm gonna type seven plus, and then I'm gonna go shift plus, and then I'm gonna go from zero, and because I can't use T's, I'm gonna have to use X. And then I know that my function is sitting in F1, so var F1 of X dx, and hit enter. That's the picture of what I want. Then I am going, in order to figure out um, when it equals three, it said it when at the fir first, at what time is the position of the object first at three feet? Okay, so that makes sense because we are, it looks like it's gonna probably hit three feet twice in this picture. I'm just gonna tab and make sure that I got my, it was X minus seven cosine T, yep, okay. So now I'm gonna go to um, F3 and I'm just gonna type in a three. So there's my three. I wanna find this first intersection here. So menu, analyze graph, intersection, Go to the left, go to the right. So it looks like at 0.644 is my first T value where this happens. 644, probably 9, 2 would be good because we don't want to write, we don't want to um, really get truncated until we're at the end. We need to determine is the object moving upwards or downwards at this time. So if I recall, Moving up or down means that my velocity is either positive or negative. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this value that we got and I'm going to plug it in to my velocity function and figure out what that equals. So I'm going to use the power of my calculator to do that. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click once, click twice, hit a control C. And then I'm going to come to my calculator page, go var. F1, because that's where my, my velocity function was the first thing we typed in. And then I'm going to go Control V for paste and hit Enter. So it looks like it's negative 4.949, which I really don't care about that number. I only care, I have already even written it wrong, 4949, right? Yep. Um, I really only care about the um, the sign of the number. So since it was negative, that means it's moving down. So we would say the object is moving down because at t equals 6.44, the velocity is less than zero or is negative, you could write that. 